Greetings and welcome to World Box. This is a game that has been suggested by my viewers in the past, and it was very strongly suggested at the live stream I did yesterday, so I figured, okay, I'll take a look at it. And after a brief look, yes, I agree, this is definitely worthy of a video. So what is this game? Well, in its own words, it's a sandbox god simulator. What that means, of course, is you see the sandbox in front of you. We can simulate life. We can also play God, which means you can, you know, you can help it along. You can harm it. You can nuke it if you want. It's all up to you. You have full control. What you're looking at is the mobile version of the game. This came out in 2018. There is a Steam version, which came out this last December, which, of course, ha is on a PC. It's got better graphics, and more importantly, it's landscape. The thing is that that also comes with all the features. Mind you, it's on Steam, it's about 20 bucks. If you want the premium features in this version, I think it's about 7 8 bucks, something like that. So what I figure we'll do is we'll play some of this, and if I see strong interest in it, maybe we can get the Steam version and take off from there. It all depends on what you guys want. So why don't we just jump in and see what this game has. Now, we're getting a little tutorial here from Tutorial Bear. So it's pretty brief, but it's kind of important. So let's just run through it. Hey there, I'm Tutorial Bear. Take a moment and hear me out. Okay, press the uh, button anywhere. Super World Box is a game about creation and destruction. The controls are simple. One figure to move the camera, two figures to control zoom. All your powers are on the bottom panel. Here's some important buttons. The save button. Use it to save and load your worlds. Yeah, you can save and load multiple worlds. So if you want to do something crazy, you can always save and restore it afterwards. That's if you want to see what's going on. Custom worlds. Create worlds with bigger size. Okay, that's interesting. World laws. Customize the rules of your worlds. Drawing. Tools to create your world. That's the terrain stuff there. You can change the brush size for some powers. This button will be on the left. And it looks like that with the little dot on there. Civilizations. Use this to create villages and mess with kingdoms. Creatures and monsters. Looking for dragons? This is the place. Although I'm pretty sure dragons are probably locked. Uh, nature and disasters. There's also some tools to help your civilizations. Destruction powers. Here's where you can find bombs and nukes. Other various powers and menus. Uh, there's so much more stuff in there. Try them out and experiment. Some powers are premium. You can try them for free via this button. It will appear in the top right corner uh, when it's available. Enjoy the game, the creator. Okay, so the first thing I'll say is I haven't been able to find anything but this map. Yeah, this is a map of a world, by the way. Here, just to show you what I'm talking about. See, you can zoom right in there, all the way down there if you want. Okay, it's a little slip shot because I'm doing this in an emulator, if you remember. I'm pretty sure that's a volcano, by the way. Pretty sure it's a volcano. Um, so this map isn't really terrific for what's going on here. That's the reason that I'm guessing other maps would be good. Uh, but you know, we're going to work with this. I'm just going to perform a lot of surgery on it. Okay, so what is the purpose here? Well, you know, I saw movement in here, didn't I? Okay, are those animals? Okay, that looks like some kind of a thing there. Okay, so basically what it comes down to is we're going to put things in the world. This is what I am planning on doing. If we go over to creatures, uh, animals, creatures, and monsters, we can see we have humans, the ultimate creature and monster. Unfortunately, we don't have access to elves, orcs, or dwarves, so we're just going to have to stick with humans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop humans at different places in the map and see what they can come up with. I am going to be shaping the map because uh, 
Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not really, it looks nice, but it's not really a great shape for what we're, to, we're dealing with here, right? So what I'm going to do is, let's just grab human. All right, let's see, what are we going to do here? Um, put him over here. I'm going to use seven humans at each location, and then we'll see what they can come up with, right? All right, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, I'm thinking like here. That seems like a good location. All right, back to the humans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It, what was that? Is that a bear? No, I think they just started building something. Okay, so there we have two civilizations working on that. All right, so what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of um, clearing here because, yeah, I mean, these ribs look really great, but they're kind of in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially remove them. So I'm going to switch over to, like, the terrain here, right? And um, where is forest? I'm going, to, I'm going to replace it with forest. Yeah, I'm thinking forest is a good idea. All right, this is the brush they were talking about. I think I want a smaller one. There we go. All right, so what? the first thing they do is they build a big fire, and then apparently they start building housing. So let me just get this out of here. All right. That way it doesn't block them. Hold it a second. All right, so basically I am painting uh, forest soil. So forest should come up where that is. But I do want to get rid of more of this. All right, um, here and moving and painting at the same time. All right, meanwhile, they're going about their business. So I'm just going to let them do that. All right, this, this, and then this. All right, I could actually make it rain too to speed things up, but I think we're good to go for now. All right, I also want to clear this other part away up here. I'm going to do the same for the other guys, too. But uh, at the moment, here, let me just get over here. Let, right, I'm just trying to get in to a certain degree here. All right, here we go. Uh, maybe I should do planes from here. I'll do plain soil from here. All right. All right, and like that. Okay, and we turn that off because I don't want to paint when I don't want to paint. And then we'll do this. All right. For now, I think that that should do. All right, here, let me just do a little bit of um, rain on top of this to speed the process along. So I'm going to go over to here, Nature and Disasters, and I'm going to select Rain. So if I just hit it with Rain... Basically, it should um, turn green or foresty, depending upon what I put down there, right? Okay. Oh, and I see that they have crops down, so I'm just going to help their crops a little here. If you'll notice, it kind of just grew up there. Okay, so let's see how the other fellows are doing. Okay, hold on a minute. Switch off the rain. Okay, how are you guys doing? All right, I need to do some clearing over here too, don't I? All right, then we'll take a look at how they're doing. You see, you can see their little civilization grow. But like I said, I do want to get rid of this. I think this should be forest here because it's forest all the way around here. All right, let's just get rid of all of this. I wish I could have just a big clean map. It's something that I would like. I'm guessing maybe that that would be something you could get in a premium version or something. Um, we'll have to see about that. All right. Turn this off because I want to move and I want to get rid of that. That, yeah, I think that one could, I'll, I'll make that plain. I'll make that plains here. All right, let's just get rid of this little mountain here. Okay, so that should start growing in there and it does look like it is. All right, let me just get rid of this too, at least the vast majority of it. Actually, I can get rid of the whole thing. All right, let's uh, go back to plains and let's get rid of this. So they have room for expansion. Okay, I think that should do. Let me just go over here and hit it with a little extra rain. Okay, that's good. Now, where are your crops? Okay, so here are their crops. So we're going to do this. 
you'll see it's growing very quickly. So they got a lot of food there. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a step back for a moment, right? And we're going to go over to here, which is civilizations, kingdoms, and villages. And I'm going to do this. Okay, so this is the area that they have taken so far. You'll notice they've actually taken some of the area that I cleared out already here, right? Now, if we look at this, so they have currently 11 of 12 individuals here. If I look at this, population. Okay, they don't have any army at all. They have six buildings, and they've taken over uh, 22. Basically, I'm guessing they've added a 23rd, but they haven't done anything to it. Now, they don't have a leader at the moment. They do have a culture, and apparently they have named their kingdom. They don't have a king yet, though. So, born, they have uh, four more. That's how they have 11, and they haven't had anyone die yet. Okay, so let's check out these guys. Okay, so they have 12. All right, so they're pretty much um, hand in hand here. Okay, so they have 12 of 12. They have six buildings. Uh, they went for the same 23, but they've only taken basically 21 so far. Um, they have a different culture, different kingdom name. So um, they're basically all growing here. Now, I noticed that when I played this in uh, the brief time I did play it, sometimes they'll do things a little differently. Um, I had two civilizations like this. One of them just grew a big one. The other one kind of spread out and did a whole bunch of different towns. And it didn't work out very well for them. But you know what? We're not there. So why don't we just uh, let them go? All right. I think I also want to get rid of this because this is kind of in the way. And after all, I am a caring deity, at least for now. By the way, this is my nuke. We're not going to... Actually, this is my nuke. Oh, the nuke is locked. I can napalm them, though. Unfortunately, I can't nuke them. How very unfortunate. I have grenades and, and bombs, though. I can do that. But we're not going to do that now. We're going to be, at least for now, very benevolent. All right, that does seem to be forest, so let's do some forest here. All right, just clean all those nasty rocks away. And by the time they come over here, they will, um, it'll all grow back, right? All right, just, just get this here. All right, because I don't want anything blocking their expansion. All right, so that should be that. So how are things looking here? Uh, they have a lot of space over there. Let's check out these guys over here. I'm thinking I may want to get rid of some of this in the middle here. So why don't we just do some of that? All right, it's forest, so we'll just clear this away. That way, if they do decide to break off and have a little colony, that can be something that um, they can do. All right, so we exit from that. All right. Another thing I want to do is I kind of want to fill in some parts here because some things may become more difficult to do, but I'm going to let them grow first because I have given them a lot of space, although I'm thinking these ribs up here might need to go uh, because I've given them more space to work with. Let's just see how they are doing. Okay, they have 19 and they have 19. All right, that's working out pretty well. But they are a little bit locked in here, so I'm thinking I should probably get rid of these. All right, so let's just move in here. And once again, let's switch over to here. And that looks like forest to me. So let's just get rid of all of this. Right, and then we can go over here and see about getting rid of this stuff over here. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but it's okay. All right, and did I get everything that I wanted? Well, there's a little bit here. We can just very quickly get rid of that. There we go. Okay, I think they both have a significant amount of space at the moment. How are we doing down here, by the way? 24 here, 24 here. All right, let's get a little bit more detail in terms of this. Okay, they have selected a leader. And apparently they have a king, and they're not the same person. I'm confused by that. 
Anyway, they have 24 of 24. They have 10 buildings. And uh, apparently they have their eyes on 45 uh, spots, but they only have uh, 34 of them so far. At least I think that. See, that's the uh, area that they are designating as their own. Okay, so they built kind of close to the shore here. So they do need to expand. I might have to get rid of, uh, of some of these because it might interfere in, in their growth. Let's just take a quick look at how things are going here. They have also selected a leader and a king. Wouldn't they be the same thing? I guess maybe the leader is like the prime minister and the king is a figurehead. I don't know. Okay, they have had a death over here, though, but the uh, birth rate is pretty good. They uh, apparently are growing at the same rate. It's a shame we can't do like elves and dwarves and see how that would work out. By the way, we just saw an expansion there. You know what I could do is I could fill in this area and let them expand onto this island too. That's interesting. Why don't we just see whether or not... Maybe they would put like a colony up here or something. All right, hold on a minute. Uh, we'll do um, this here. Do I want to do like sand... All right, you know what it is? I'll do planes. All right, so I think I can just do this. All right, here. And you see they're already moving over there to a degree. They're just exploring here, right? Okay, hold on a minute, kill that. All right, let's take a look at these guys. Okay, they're, they're marveling at the miracle that has happened for them. Okay, so you can see the housing started as like a little tent, and they're getting better. As technology advances, they will get better. Okay, let's just hit them with a little extra water here for their crops. Okay, you can see I'm growing their crops. Okay, so you can see for the moment, I am a benevolent uh, creator. I'm helping my guys. Uh, let's see, how are you? Okay, let's, oh, let's not do that. Let's go over and see how they're doing. Okay, by the way, those are the blue and these are the purple. That appears to be the way it is. All right, let's have some, uh, some growing here of crops. I'm guessing that these are crops, right? Okay, so lots of food, lots and lots of food. All right, let's kill that. Okay, so how are we doing here? Okay, we have 33. Let's go for some detail. They have 33. They have 45 of 54 plots. They, have, um, they haven't had any losses. There's no deaths here at all. They have 13 buildings. How is the technology working here? They're pretty much in the same in terms of like, uh, like housing technology. Pretty much the same here. Okay, is that a, um, a mushroom there in the middle? Okay. All right, so let's take a trip back over to here. Okay, they have 33. Their stuff is really focused in the middle, except it is one building down here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah, I can actually select the individuals, I believe. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are... Okay, okay, I, I, I was trying to figure out what that was. All right, here, who are you? He looked like he was wearing some kind of an outfit there. I don't think I got... No, I'm trying to select the individuals here. No, no, I guess I can't do that right now. I think I need another setting for that. All right, why don't we end that for now? Okay, what is this? Okay, I guess those are sheep? Okay, that's interesting because I guess they were already there. All right, so how are, are they going this way? Are they just looking around? Oh, I guess he was going for trees. Oh, he's going over to that mystical forest over there to cut trees down. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like that very much. I mean, I was hoping they'd move over there, you know? As a matter of fact, I did give a huge advantage to them over there, didn't I? So maybe I should make more land available to these guys over here. How about we um, fill some of this in? So if they do want to expand over here, they can just do that, right? 
And we got this little island over here. Here, fill that in. Okay, a little extra land in case they need it, right? All right, let's see how they are expanding, actually. Okay, they're getting close to that. Maybe I should fill this one down here in. Oh, they started a second, um, a second town over here. How many are in here? Okay, so there's six of three. I guess maybe they only have enough housing for three or something like that until they get building. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So they're the ones who started a... Um, a ta what is that? It looks like a big brain sitting on a pedestal. Can I look at that? It's, I don't know if there's any way that I can actually do that. Um, no, I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Okay, well, you know what? If they get down to it, maybe it might be something of use. Um, it's interesting that they went around this. Perhaps I should remove it. I can remove some of it, though. That way, it's not completely in their way. Hopefully, I don't destroy anything, though. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, like that. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I was trying to help you. Actually, I should make that forest. Sorry about that. That way, they can have trees. You know what I mean? All right. Um, here, build again. I promise I'm not going to destroy anything. They do seem to be building again, so that's a good thing. Okay, so hopefully that'll pick up. Um, they're building really close to this. I want to get rid of this, too. So let's see. Um, all right, like that. Just so they have some room to work with. Okay, and that one is growing back really fast. Why is the other one not growing back? Okay, and they built on the other side of it. Okay, so that's working out well. How are you guys doing? Any colonies? No? All right, let's just do a quick look and see how things are going. All right, so we have 51 here. We don't have any extra colonies. We have 48 here, and there's 15 here. So blue civilization has decided to split and uh, they do seem to be growing faster as a result of that. However, that does diversify the military. Because if, for instance, if this place was attacked, 54, their military would be very strong. If you were to break them up into little towns, it might be a problem then. Okay, everybody seems to be doing well. Should I give them a little bit of a trial? Okay, it looks like we do have, we have a military guy here, a commander. So hold on a minute. Let's just take a quick look here. Hold on. Uh, yes, we have two um, in the army at the moment with a possible 30 here. All right, are you guys over here preparing as well? Okay, pretty much the same thing. We have two in the army, possible 30 over there. The other guys won't have anything yet because they haven't advanced enough yet, even though their numbers are actually looking good. We got 57 here, we got 54 here, and another 19 over here. Right, no army yet. They really have to uh, have some more individuals over there. And that's the entire civilization. Hey, and they have spread over here. Did you see this? They spread over here. All right, so yeah. Oh, and guess who has a new uh, offshoot over here? Why are you guys... Oh, I got to do something about that. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to... Uh, is that... Yeah, that's actually forest. Hold it a minute. All right. I'm trying not to hurt you guys, but I'm also trying to give you some space here. There we go. All right. And the forest is growing quickly. Okay, so let them go. All right, there's no island offshore until up here, so there's nothing much I can do. I mean, I could expand on the land here for them, but that's about it. 
All right, and let's take another look here. Okay, we got 62 there, we got 60 here, we got 25 over here, we got 9 over here. So at the moment, they do seem to have an, a, uh, an advantage, and you can see the little star. I believe that means it's a capital. That's what I believe it means. The other ones are just kind of like under the same rulership, but they're uh, not the central location. Do we have any bigger houses yet? I don't see any. Now, what do you say we give them a challenge? Yeah, let's see. Um, how about a rhino? Okay, the military looks like they were there quickly. Okay, they did have a loss. A very unfortunate fellow. It was a terrible accident. Uh, I have no idea how it could have happened. All right, let's see. Um, are those crops dying over there? All right, we're once again, we're going to, boom, give them a rhino. Okay, the mil, oh wow, the military was really on top of it that time. Did anyone die? I don't think anyone died that time. They really were on top of that. All right, can I actually see those losses? Okay, death none. I don't know if that would show up over here. Now, I know there was a death here already. Yeah, I don't think that death showed up because we had this death before, very early on. Okay, and you have 31 down here, 66 over here. 67 over here and 18 over here. Now, what I really should do is I should remove this because this is going to be an impediment. So why don't I just very quickly do this? It looks like it's forest, so I'm just going to replace it with forest because uh, if they want to expand into each other, we shouldn't uh, interfere with that now, should we? Of course, that means there may be some hostilities, but then again, that's the risk we take, isn't it? All right, let's see. I was doing forest. There we go. Get rid of all of that. All right, and it's starting to grow back. It's going to be a while before they expand that far anyway, because if we look... Yeah, 72 and 72, except, oh, somebody died over here. Actually, we have three deaths. Interesting, but nobody is infected. I don't know what that means, though. Maybe it's just a matter of, like, disease breaking out or something like that. But um, we did have a bunch of deaths over here. How about over here? No, just that one. Oh, and they did expand again. Oh, oh, that's going to be a problem, huh? Okay, so... You notice that there's a lot of, wow, there's a lot of game in there. I wonder if they're actually doing something with that. Okay, so when I cleared all this away, somebody decided to make another village up here. Unfortunately, it's kind of close to them, isn't it? So it could very well be a, uh, a serious issue for the future. Oh, and there's another one down here. Wow, who thought that was a good idea? Okay, I'm not touching that. If you guys want to live there, then that's fine. You know, I did open up an island and you could have lived over here. But, uh, you know, there are op I guess there's not a lot of options for expansion now, is there? Except, of course, for this area in the middle here. And these guys are gobbling up land pretty darn quickly, aren't they? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to fill this in over here. That way they can expand further down, right? And maybe get rid of uh, some of these rocks over here. Yeah, I would say that this, this place up here is in grave danger because I have a feeling that these guys will expand up in this direction, the purples, that is, uh, before these guys can get over there. And they just lost somebody over there. I'm guessing, you know, it could just be old age at this point, right? Because a lot of them have been building their little civilization for quite some time. Anyway, it should be interesting to see what happens in the end when they uh, reach each other. So this one here actually has four towns now, and this one has two. 
Yeah, this is the reason that I wish I could have gotten a different map from this. Maybe like one big continent where they could have all like had their own little corner and then expanded from there and that the terrain really wasn't in the way because, yeah, the terrain is kind of in the way. Remember, I filled this section in the middle in and then, of course, we have the volcano. I wonder if you can actually knock out the wall of the volcano and have lava coming down. That'd be kind of interesting. There is a lot going on in the middle over there. Is that all sheep? Okay, and that, that's kind of a newish house right there. How are we doing? Oh, oh, we got like a really fancy one here now. I guess maybe that's where the king or the leader is. Okay, and I think that's the military there. Yeah, you have a guy with a banner right there. All right, hold on a minute. Let's just take a quick look at the situation. No, hold on a second here. Uh, actually, I did click on an individual that time. And whoever it is, he's 60 years old. So in the, in the old world, probably not going to last too long, right? All right, let's just take a look at the whole thing. Okay, the military is up to 19 over here. Um, I'm guessing you guys don't have much of a military. Nope, nope. How about you? Oh, okay, you got 21. Are you going to be able to help them? No, there's your question. And they are spreading over to here. So there is expansion that needs to be done, which means that they're going to meet in the middle. And these guys, these guys are getting really close to the purple guys now, aren't they? I have a feeling that's not going to end well for them. No, no, it isn't. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. That's just kind of a little look at the situation. With a game like this, you'd probably build it up over time and then see what happens with it. I'm interested to see what would be in the Steam Workshop. I mean, guessing there's different kinds of maps and situation. And of course, humans are just kind of boring. I'd love to do like humans, elves, and orcs, and then see who wins. You know, that would be kind of interesting. And whoever, uh, you know, loses, well, they get nuked. I think that's kind of a good idea. But uh, it's a nice looking map. It's just Functionally wise, it's a little bit on the limiting side, as you can see now, as they spread out. And we do have another one down here that they decided to expand to. Oh, why Why would you do that? Okay, well, I mean, I could expand on a little bit, but I'd probably destroy the town. And this, this is going to be a problem very soon. So if there is interest in seeing more of this, please give the video a like, maybe say something in the comments, and of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya!